Hi, hi, hi. It's Aya here. And so today we will be looking at another uh, business analysis topic. Uh, and this one is notification. And it is specially made for Android and mobile. So uh, if uh, I don't include the maybe some small use case of iOS, don't come for me. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right to the tutorial. Okay, so um, let's start off first with the definition. So a notification is a message uh, that display um, things like reminder, communication from other, or tam timely information from your app. And when you click on the notification, it will uh, open the app or directly take some sort of uh, action from the notification um, drawer. And here you can see these are the three notification types that you see um, on Facebook. Okay, so this is the outline for this slide. And so the first one would be the notification appearance. Um, so here we have some terms and definition. The first one is the head of notification. And this one, uh, when the notification, uh, uh, when the phone is unlocked, um, the notification will show here. And this line is called a notification bar. Okay. And when you swipe, um, swipe down, it will open the notification drawer. Uh, next, we would have notification bags. Uh, so here you can see that there is a small dot here, which uh, represents how many um, that, that you are having email or like the message here you have the notification bus of uh, seven which you have seven unread notification so that is most of the case but you can uh, config your is so it shows something differently and the last one is a lock screen so basically it means that when you lock out the screen and you still show some hidden um, notification so this one is the lock screen okay so that is the Okay, so next we will look at the configuration for notification and uh, the first one is categorizing. So uh, this may be done by the uh, mobile dev, but uh, you should list out this as well. Uh, for example, um, here is the categorizing. So uh, you can see that there are some notifications that appear on top of the drawer and they make sound but there are others they just vibrate and that is the one that um say behavior can be done by categorizing for example um so uh if you make a alarm clock application and when it rings you want it to be like urgent and so you have to configure this one to imp important to be urgent and then it will make the sound and vibrate at the same time uh, but if inside that um, alarm it just shows some reminder throughout the day uh, those can be put to the lower priority um, in terms of the importance like just normal and it just make no sound and it is totally silent so it don't disrupt the um, the UX okay so here um, so there are the three categories of importancy and this will determine the interruption of the user uh, behavior okay next we'll look at the okay um, types of notification so uh, so we have the boost notification you know so the boost notification which means that you use the app you mean I mean you are outside the app but that application just send you the notification to the drawer um, or to the lock screen and it is outside the app so that is the uh, push notification and versus uh, here we have the in-app notification uh, with in this case SMS so when you open the application it will show and uh, see as a two type notification and so 
um, we may have to consider implementing the notification center inside the app. So why do we I bring this one up here? Uh, this is because um, the notification drawer of the Android Android phone only keep the notification temporarily. So if you swipe right that notification, uh, it high chance that it will disappear kind of forever and the user sometimes they just cannot track back which one uh, they were sent. So um, so in that case, for example, if you work on the notification, uh, the, the social media application, you need to have the um, notification center so that it will provide you with more action uh, regarding the notification that you push to the user. Okay, so here's some requirement connected to the notification center. So here are the sort of things that you can uh, look at. So first is the number, the number on the patch, and how to wipe the notification. For example, you can see here. So here they have, for example, here, uh, there are four noti uh, noti unread notification and uh, wipe notification, which means that, for example, here we have, for example, here we have the four, but uh, we can decide that if the user click here and view the notification, it will wipe and become zero or the user have to click uh, within w to all the individual notification so that it will the number here will disappear okay and um, also the setting regarding the user can re review the content to receive the notification so for some uh, so for example in the notification center here they only want to receive thing related to comment so you should give some sort of setting in order to have them to achieve that. And here are the two use cases regarding the two types of notification. So for the push notification, why? Um, so because work outside of the app and uh, it's used it to increase the engagement of the inactive user. So uh, normally it will work. With transactional update, for example, you make a payment and it send you like a confirmation post notification. Uh, the deal or the offer for the uh, commercial platform or the application update. Um, yeah, and this one only work with uh, the internet connection. So this is the case. And for the other, the in-app notification, because it's work inside the app and uh, you can send the notification without having connected to the internet. For example, I remember the app Duolingo, they can send the, they can set the timer to send, for example, the daily reminder to remind user to uh, to do the exercise there. And so uh, it can, um, don't need the internet for this. And it will work bad with the onboarding process, recommendation like the YouTube, and to get the feedback, uh, for example, after you uh, finish a booking of the right hailing app, uh, you can show the in-app notification so the user can uh, hit review or can give the tips to the driver uh, immediately. Okay, so next we look at uh, assign the task for the dev. Uh, so we have the ABI dev, so they would uh, choose the technical stack and set up the project and when to trigger the send to the notification to the device. So this one is a boost notification and for both the in-app notification as well, I mean the trigger. And for the mobile uh, or the phone and dev, they will need to configure the notification on the mobile app and to, I mean, re uh, re handle the event when they catch the notification from the API and then they populate it into the application and uh, some other features go within the notification. So for example, uh, you can reply the, um, you can reply back to the email example from the beginning. You can reply directly through the notification drawer. So that is also the case. If you want to have that extra feature, go within the notification, but they are quite limited. Okay, so next, uh, we look at the difference between the platform so that if you work on the 
um, multi platform application you should look at this so ios they will support four button with rich notifications so rich notification which means that they um, they are the fancy one here so this is the uh, rich notification and the button would be uh, represent the the, 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 the number of options you can have directly on that notification and here we can have the chrome as well so you see that when you use the chrome on um, the uh, on android you can see that sometimes if you hit the receive the notification from the website that website can actually push the notification to your phone to chrome so that is also um, a case to consider as well and these these tools are not uh, supported okay okay so here are the quick action that i mentioned regarding the uh, android notification okay and here is the chrome notification put through the browser okay and uh, i think um, this is one of the things that um, i used to look past until uh, it was implemented and i realized that um, the batch years are is, is, is a little bit uh, hard to work with so generally the app would reflect the number of unread push notification that the user received from the app in question so for example if you uh, push to the user five notification and then they haven't read any episode five so it will be uh, five unread notification but if they swipe uh, in the notification drawer to four it will show the patch here will show four uh, but the funny things here is that sometimes the notification drawer got wiped for example if you restart your phone and so here the bus is it is still showing four but you have no way to get back to wipe this one because uh, your app um, doesn't come with the notification center within the app uh, so here um, you can decide um, what the batch the number on the patch sent for and also uh, what is the behavior to wipe the patch so for example if uh, for some if you don't have the notification center you can click to the application and it will wipe immediately wipe all the patch or um, if you click to a uh, notification it will wipe one is that the case uh, yeah so this part is the thing that when you work with this notification you should look out to and the last one is decide when it is read for example here this is an application that i work on and here you can see that um, you have to um, there are multiple scenario for example with the uh, facebook notification if you click to the notification center it will immediately um, consider that the, the patch will be wiped but um, they will be unread and read notification but if you click to the individual unread notification it will become read but here uh, for this app even if you click to inside the individual it will still show at unread so you have to click to the mark at red to make sure that uh, they, uh, it is officially read because uh, because this app is related to transaction so uh, I have we have to be kind of like make a double step <laughs> verification to make sure that they actually uh, verify that they read the important thing because it's one related to money so uh, this is the case yeah it's all right uh, so this is the my um, tutorial regarding the notification for business analyst and I hope you learn something new and if you do please consider his slide surprise support my channel and we put out more uh, content on this channel so stay tuned bye